The book introduces significant concepts such as Big Brother and Doublethink, which have permeated political discourse and symbolize the manipulation of truth. These terms serve as reflections of the inherent dangers posed by authoritarianism. Moreover, the societal structure within Oceania categorizes individuals into three distinct classes, the inner party, outer party, and proles. This division starkly highlights the inequality and pervasive control exerted by the party across the populace. Key characters such as Winston and Julia exemplify the struggle for personal freedom and love, shedding light on how intimate connections can serve as a counterforce to oppressive societal norms. Their relationship, thus, symbolizes a beacon of hope amidst pervasive despair. In addition to this, the tension between love and lust is meticulously explored, prompting an inquiry into whether rebellion is manifested through sexual acts or through deeper emotional connections. This exploration significantly raises implications for both personal and political resistance. Furthermore, familial bonds emerge as critical elements in resisting totalitarian control. Regimes often endeavor to undermine familial love by instilling distrust, encouraging children to betray their parents. This tactic effectively weakens societal bonds and loyalty. Moreover, the distinction between authoritarian and totalitarian regimes becomes apparent, with the latter characterized by its comprehensive control over all aspects of life, including personal relationships. This total control is designed to eradicate love and individual connections entirely. The concept of hate is depicted as an animalistic craving, showcasing how society frequently directs this emotion towards perceived enemies. This portrayal underscores the dangers inherent in mass hysteria and collective outrage. The ritual known as the two minutes of hate exemplifies how crowds can be skillfully manipulated to concentrate their rage, thereby showcasing the extent of state control over individuals' emotions and actions. The relentless pursuit of power within totalitarian states is emphasized, revealing how absolute control over individuals' functions as both a means and an end, ultimately resulting in pain and humiliation. Viewing society as an organism permits the justification of atrocities, as long as the collective thrives. This notion echoes the logic that underpinned historical purges and abuses, as discussed by a Reddit user who likens society to a biological system. Moreover, the idea of pursuing utopia often leads to totalitarianism, as the relentless pursuit of perfection frequently occurs at the expense of individual freedom and humanity. This perilous pursuit creates a slippery slope towards systemic atrocities. The founding principle that all humans are created equal serves as a formidable counter to totalitarian ideologies. It emphasizes the inherent worth of every individual, irrespective of societal roles, and is crucial in resisting the corrupting influence of power. Winston's willingness to commit atrocities on behalf of the Brotherhood accentuates the moral complexities surrounding rebellion against totalitarianism. This duality prompts profound questions regarding the nature of good and evil. Orwell's vision underscores the paramount importance of democracy and elucidates the challenges associated with balancing individual freedoms and collective societal needs. This tension remains central to understanding the critique levied against totalitarian states. Additionally, technological advancements reveal a dual nature, possessing the potential to facilitate both oppression and freedom. For instance, the internet can empower resistance against authoritarianism when utilized judiciously. Orwell's 1984 stands as a cautionary tale regarding the perils of totalitarian control over speech and thought, emphasizing the necessity for critical thinking to avoid descending into such dystopian realities. The balance between independent thought and social connection is delicately maintained. While independent thinking is essential, we, as social beings, risk our mental health if taken to extremes. Torture is depicted as a mechanism for dismantling an individual's capacity to think and perceive reality. The discussion elucidates the ineffectiveness of torture in procuring reliable information and highlights its detrimental psychological impacts. Furthermore, the notion of face crime exemplifies how oppressive regimes meticulously monitor even the most subtle expressions to regulate thoughts and emotions. This reflects the extreme lengths to which totalitarian states will go to maintain their grip on power. Winston's betrayal of Julia during the torture sequence underscores the profound impact of fear on personal relationships. This action raises critical questions regarding the permanence of love when confronted with extreme duress. The assertion that love can constitute a form of rebellion against oppressive systems introduces a pathway to hope and freedom. Even within dystopian contexts, love persists as a formidable catalyst for change. Additionally, the concept of Big Brother epitomizes the party's immortal essence, illustrating how totalitarianism can flourish in the absence of a tangible leader. This underscores the deliberate division of society as a strategy for control. Julia's strategy of adhering to minor rules permits her to subvert broader restrictions, thereby demonstrating a personal approach to rebellion against oppressive systems. 
this reinforces the significance of balancing compliance with resistance. Moreover, the idea that hope can serve as a tool for suffering suggests that maintaining aspirations may lead to deeper despair when those hopes are ultimately thwarted. This highlights the psychological manipulation prevalent within totalitarian states. Significantly, criticism has emerged concerning the fundamental nature of the books on the list. However, the speaker contends that many individuals have not engaged with these texts thoroughly. They assert that these works offer profound insights when revisited. The speaker acknowledges their aspiration to engage with a new book weekly, notwithstanding doubts about completing particularly challenging reads. They clarify that the primary objective was to finish the selected books by the week's end. Despite a hesitance to share their reading journey publicly, the speaker remains resolute in discussing topics of significance. They emphasize the challenges associated with vulnerability in the face of criticism. Engaging with audiobooks significantly enhances the reading experience, particularly with familiar texts, facilitating deeper reflection and enjoyment of the content. While constructive criticism holds value in serious pursuits, it is essential to recognize that lighthearted subjects, such as book lists, should not be subjected to undue scrutiny. Finally, the joy derived from reading classics and exploring diverse genres fosters meaningful connections with peers, ultimately expanding one's literary horizons.